Oh, hey. I didn't see you come in. My name is Elena. I'm the producer on GH2. Welcome to our behind the scenes video. So I'm going to introduce you to some of the people on our team, starting with Daniel, our project lead. He's responsible for all of the design decisions on our game, and he's just really committed to making sure that our game has the most integrity and is as awesome as it can be. Guitar Mesa Boogie Hero, huh? How about Red Octane Presents Guitar Hero Mesa Boogie Company, provided by Harmonix Music Systems? Helen's our associate producer, and she does, um, I don't really know what she does, but it's got to be really hard because she sighs a lot and um, yells and it's kind of like working with a surly teenager. Hey, what's up, Helen? Uh, it looks like you're not too busy. I've got some scheduling for you to do. Can you update the coder schedule and also I need you to get the art aspect? You're not the there. boss of me and this totally blows! God! Eric's our audio lead. He was primarily responsible for putting together our song list and he knows so much about rock music. He is just always talking about rock. He's really, really cool. Kumbaya, my Lord. Kumbaya. Kumbaya, my Lord. Dare is our art lead and he is responsible for the artistic vision of the game and he has got so many great ideas and he's constantly coming up with new stuff and our team looks to him and really loves hearing all of his amazing ideas. Can you pull it, can you bring us forward a little bit too? Little bit That's good. Right, right there. there. Alright. A little bigger actually. Okay. Bigger? Can you bring him forward? Forward. Oh. Like outside of the head. I think this is going to be rad. Canfield is the designer. He was the obvious choice. He embodies everything about Guitar Hero today, tomorrow, forever and ever and ever. James is our lead programmer and he is really good at what he does and he's super approachable. He's just a really good guy. He's easygoing and fun to talk to. Although I heard that he could start fire with his eyes because lightning comes out of them when he's mad, which I don't think is true. Maybe it's true. <laughs> Probably true. Jason Kendall is our art AP and he's in charge of administrating a lot of our art needs. He's great and I think he used to be in a pretty big rock band but I'm not sure, you can't really tell, I mean he's really professional, I think he's put most of that behind him now. Hi Jason. Hey Mayoko. You want to go to lunch? Yeah, I want to go to lunch. Okay. Did I ever tell you about the time I ate so much before a show at the Rascal that I threw up behind our amp? The time we were touring, and we were touring at this university, and I jumped up in the Snapping air and in the guitar. skull. I have a little scar right here. You see it right here? Right. See? So, uh, now that's... Is, uh, could you not respond to the tour story? Yeah. Uh, uh, one time in... Uh, uh, Luke is our QA lead and he leads our entire QA team and they are really diligent about playing the game and finding all the bugs and making sure that the game works. Luke is primarily a hardcore gamer and when he came here he really didn't know that much about rock at all. But since he's been here he's really learned a lot about music. Awesome here and if you want to find heck with me I can show you where it's at. Yeah, I can show you where it's at. That's our development team in a nutshell. Um, everybody gets along so well. They are so dedicated, motivated, articulate. They have so much to say. They have so much to offer. They get along great. They're brilliant. They're interesting, musically talented. Everyone's friends. They love me. <laughs> and. I just love working with these people. So thanks for watching. <laughs>
gonna stop now. <laughs> yeah. Loop de 